Here we have the rules for debits and credits. Assets are equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. That's the basic accounting equation. All assets will be found on the balance sheet and all liabilities will be found on the balance sheet. All assets typically increase with a debit and so that is the normal account balance for an asset is debit based. The normal balance for a liability is credit based and typically all things classified as liabilities increase with a credit. Not so for owner's equity. These can increase both with debits and credits and can be found on a variety of different financial statements. Let's go back though to the assets and look at those items that are typically classified under assets. Cash, normal balance is a debit, so it increases with the debit. Petty cash increases with the debit. Accounts receivable increase with the debit, but the allowance for doubtful account is a contra asset account under accounts receivable and it increases with a credit. Supplies as an asset increases with the debit. Prepaid asset increases with the debit. Inventory asset increases with the debit. Notes receivable increase with the debit. Same with equipment and same with buildings. Accumulated depreciation though, however, is a contra asset account and it increases with the credit. Land is an asset and increases with the debit. Now let's look at the liabilities. Also again, only found on the balance sheet. Accounts payable, salaries payable, accruals, payables, and liabilities, unearned revenue, and notes payable. These all increase with the credit. Now let's look at the dynamics under owner's equity. Owner's equity or owner's capital increases with the credit and is found on the balance sheet as well as the statement of owner's equity. Owner's withdrawals, the normal account balance is a debit. They increase when a withdrawal is taken out. It increases and is typically debited. That's the normal account balance and it is only found on the statement of owner's equity. Revenue or sales increase owner's equity, which is credit based. So revenue and sales increase with the credit and is only found on the income statement. Sales discounts are a contra sales account. It increases with the debit and reduces sales and it is only found on the income statement. The same for sales returns and allowances. They increase with the debit and are found on the income statement. Expenses increase with the debit, so a debit under owner's equity would decrease owner's equity and that makes sense that expenses would decrease net income and consequently the owner's equity. Expenses therefore in, when they are increased or when we have expenses they are shown by debiting an expense account and that's only found on the income statement. Cost of goods sold is a debit and it is found on the income statement. Cash over and short is an income statement account and is increased either with a debit or credit depending upon the situation. Bad debt expense it increases with the debt. It's found on the income statement. Depreciation, depletion, and amortization expense, those are expenses and they increase with the debit and are found on the income statement. The same for interest expense increased with the debit found on the income statement. Any loss on an asset disposal would be increased with the debit and would be found on the income statement. And any gain on an asset disposal would be increased with a credit and would be found on the income statement.